okay so now do you want to know how i made it so let's get started hey guys so the first thing which we will need is that an app known as whatsapp auto responder so we will just search for it and we will have to install this app so i have already installed and i am running this on beta version to get the latest update but you can also install the beta i hope he has given the features to the normal version and it is quite popular it has got around 1 million installs so now we will just open it and here i have created many rules so first of all you can create this rule by just tapping on this plus item and here it goes like what should be like captured what should be the rule like you can get a welcome message when people will send hi hello and then you can just type what should be replied so let me show you my code you can add the rejects and all those patterns here also so i have added all these hand emojis so the rule is that like whenever people will send any of this so we will get a match and what we are going to do after it match we are not just replying it anything randomly i have connected this to my server uh, you can also connect it to local server so this is the option connect to local server you can also use the like uh, dialog flow api and you can here your url will be entered and you can also pass the basic authentication and what this will do actually this will make the post request and this is the response which you will receive on the server and it will look like that so you will have to do json format it in json and get the query and you can get sender and message which we will look into that and in server you will have to send a response back uh, json response you will you will send it just like this and in replies it will be array and messages and that's it and you can just add all there are a lot of things you can add pause loop rule specific contact uh, which can be receiver group both like i have just individual so that's it for this app we are going to look at the server code uh, what is a server a server is just a server okay does that make any sense okay i cannot explain in this video what a server is because that's not the topic it's just running some codes on your computer and when you send request it's like how a website works so we have just set up this like i have just set up this uh, i am using node.js because it's simple easy to do and everything and i am using javascript obviously node.js uses javascript so like first thing what i have done is that i haven't included any external libraries so i am just using this http module and after that what i have done is that i have created a function like it's called i i have called it random rps it's like a shortcut for rock scissor okay rock paper scissor emo so what this function does it's a array first it has this array and this is scissor this is uh, what do we call it uh, it's like uh, stone okay stone and it's the hand is paper and what uh, we have done is here like we are getting uh, a random number between 0 to 3 so like we can get a random emoji from all this and we are just returning it and like here again after that we have just renamed the emojis and made a object so that we can easily access it with the name and again here i have destructured the emojis so that we can directly instead of doing emos dot paper i can just do emo uh, i can just do paper okay so this is how we do destructuring of objects in javascript and here is our logic this is who beats what okay does that make sense okay so scissor will beat paper and paper will beat rock and rock will beat caesar so that's this is how i have used square brackets because i want the emoji variable to be there 
so like here I have this run game function so now we will understand what it does so first what we are doing here is that this is random RPS emo so what this will do you guys all know it will just store a random emoji in this bot emo variable and after that what it we have like uh, we have this function is it win and then what's the message if it's a draw if it won uh, or the user lost the match okay okay so first we are going to check that if the object dot values like if our emoji is there like a user has sent something unfortunately like anything can happen so for that we are checking here for like uh, if we have an unknown emoji so it's like just this will convert this emoji into like an array like this will become array and then we are just using this includes function and we have just inverted it using this inverter is that an inverter i don't know what do we call it all right so here now we are checking for the draw condition if both emojis are same the random emoji and the user emoji then what we are going to return we are just going to return oh it's a draw so now now here here is the condition for like uh, what it's condition for winning okay it's for loss like it's for winning the bot okay does that make sense so in matches if like user emoji is scissor then it will bite paper okay scissor doesn't bite it will cut paper so it will be like win for our bot and user will be lost i guess and if nothing is true then user won the match so we are just going to give a world cup okay it's cricket cup okay whatever it is we 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 are just going to give it and again in the return what we have done is that this is the json format which the auto responder bot needs so first what we are going to send first we will just send a bot emo whatever the emo emoji our bot chose like the random emoji which we got and after that we are going in uh, another message uh, array object array we are just going to run this function is it win which will check if the user won draw or whatever and in the next uh, next message we will include that and i am just doing this for like console log and here is how our server is going to work it's quite simple we have just created this server variable and this is doing like http create server and like you can also use express but for but we had nothing much here so i just use this and like here request dot on data we are going to push this date this into like okay we are just pushing the whatever we have got response we will just push it into this data array okay now here this is like let message and when request ends so when request has finished first thing which we are going to do we are going to parse json because we will receive it in a stringified format so i am just consoling long and uh, we will just uh, store the message in this message query because we already looked how the whatsapp autoresponder gives us the response so it comes in a response and in query we want the message you can do many things with that like you can add a contact here like you can do many specific rules you can create multiplayer games i will think about it so and again in reply what we are going to do is like run game and we will pass the message and this is our run game function which accepts the user emo and we are just sending the user emo here user emoji and after that what we are going we are just ending that response like we are giving it the reply whatever reply we got and in return like here this will be sent to the user and then the our autoresponder app will parse it and send it to the user many things are going behind the scene guys i hope you are like wondering how why why it it's quite simple but it is not so like if anyone messes with our server and there is a error i so i have just put this in the try catch block and so what does 
it just locks the error and it just says what's up go to hell go to hell all right guys and you can run this locally or on your cloud i have put this uh, onto my cloud and to run this you should use pm2 you can just do npm install pm2 i have already installed with a g flag global flag as here you can see like this is our bot and you can how you can do at like you can just put this like pm2 start whatever your file name like here's bot simple dash simple and it will be started and you can make a lo <laughs> locally make your request you don't need any server so as here you can see if i will go to local host and guys if you want the codes like i have this in my repository github repository okay so i will put this link or you can just search in my repository i have just like this lo long url okay so if i will just go to local uh, like just just messing with the server i know i am going to hell and go to port 5000 like see he 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 is literally he is telling telling like see let me zoom in zoom in zoom in yeah yeah see 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 it's telling me to go to hell okay okay and guys uh, like i have another improved version of this uh, like bot uh, why there are so many likes all right no worries so in improved version all the things are same so but uh, what if user sends a different emoji what if wanted multiple emojis so to get multiple emojis like uh, for people like user can okay for paper user can send different types of hand and for rock like people asked me my friend told me to just just add that punch he, he likes that punch so this punch i i was forced to add and these kind of punch too so what i have done i just got help with uh, someone else he helped me okay so all those things are same and here we are just doing like we are just creating a array of like all the emos all emos and like we are just finding why i am saying so many likes then we are finding the emojis and if emojis dot sum it returns like if emoji like the condition is true it just like then returns like okay then it's true right like like see if emoji starts with e like if i want to match a black hand with white hand so i can do this start with but actually it's not a coding tutorial if you want me to explain all this stuff so this is the code where i have many emoji like different varies of emoji you can use this too and there is nothing much going on here like if there is no emoji then we are just logging no valid emoji and again here we are destructuring the object emoji entry and we are just setting the user mo to the first item in the array okay does that make sense if it doesn't then don't please please do not ask me all right so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and again the source code is available here you can just go and grab this bot and simple bot and just copy paste just do npm start or anywhere or host it make it on domain and do some crazy stuff like if you can improve it just create a pull request and that's it i hope you enjoyed this uh, please support me on patreon if you like my work and want to see more amazing videos all right bye bye see you thanks for watching you went no okay also don't forget to like share and subscribe